it's Jade here today, and today's video is kind of a different type of video on my channel. So I'm taking a break just for one week on the Christmas videos, and I'm gonna bring a tech video to you guys. I am a huge tech person, especially when it comes to cameras. I absolutely love cameras, I research them all the time, it's pretty much what I do. I also know that vlogging has become huge over the past year. Like, so many YouTubers have gotten vlog channels and they just do amazing on them. And I know that a lot of people are wanting to start getting into vlogging. A lot of vloggers use the G7X from Canon, but that's a very expensive camera. So today I wanted to show you guys a review on a camera that I really like. This is the Canon SX610HS, which is one of the less expensive point and shoot type models from Canon. If you like my channel, please subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and so let's just hop into this video. So I'm going to begin this review by talking about the specs of the camera, price, where you can buy it, different models, and stuff like that. So, the one I have is the Black Canon SX10 HS. I'm sorry if I like get tongue-tied, it's kind of hard to say. This camera comes in three color combinations. It comes in a solid red, it comes in a white with kind of like, let me look at the picture, it's kind of got like a light gold almost. It's not really gold, but like it's pretty much just a white camera and then of course the solid matte black. The starting price of this camera is $229.99. Alright, so this is the box that the camera comes in. What comes in the box is obviously the camera, um, the battery pack, um, a battery charger, and a wrist strap, as well as all of the manuals and warranty and stuff like that. Now getting into some of the specs. So this camera has a 25 millimeter wide lens and 18 times optical zoom. So it can go up to 36 times zoom, but 18, going past 18, you're not really going to get the most clear of an image. It has a 20.2 megapixel high sensitivity um, sensor, and it have a, I'm sorry, and it has a 7.5, oh my gosh, I can't talk, a 7.5 centimeter LCD screen on the back of the camera. Also, another really cool feature is this camera comes with 1080p full HD video. One of my favorite capabilities of this camera is it actually has Wi-Fi capabilities, which pretty much means that if you click this little button down there, you can sync the photos or videos that are on your camera directly to your phone using the Canon Camera Connect app. Another thing I just really quickly like to note is that this camera does not come with a USB cord to go from the camera to a computer. So you're either going to have to buy one or you can use one that comes with another Canon camera if you have one. The next thing I want to talk about with this camera is the build of the camera. I am very, very, very impressed by the build of this camera given the very, very, very low price point of this camera. It has a very, very nice um, metal finish and has um, chrome detailing around the lens and it just has a very, very sorry, I'm saying very, very a lot, but a very luxurious feel to it. It makes you feel like you're holding a lot more expensive of a camera than you actually are. I am pretty impressed with the resolution of the screen on the back. It's not amazing, but um, for the price point of the camera, I think it's pretty good. So now I'm just kind of going to go through all of the controls and the buttons and the build of the camera. So obviously on the very front of the camera you have the lens with the 18 times optical zoom and I also like it has a little rubber grip right here on the side um, that just kind of makes you feel a little more secure when you're holding it. So moving on to the top of the camera you have a on off button and you have this little dial here you have the shutter release button that's just what I call it which is obviously what you just used to take a picture you have this little thing that moves up and down and that's what you use to optical zoom on the camera or if you are looking through back through your pictures you can use that to zoom in on your photos and then you also have the flash which if you go to the side this side right here is kind of hard to explain if you just pull this little lever down, it will release the flash. So that's also a really, really awesome capability of this camera that does include a built-in flash because I know a lot of less expensive point-and-shoot cameras do not have a built-in lens. So that's definitely a great feature to have. 
Moving on to the other small side of the camera, you just have the little place where you can hook on the wrist strap, which I would definitely recommend putting on because you do not want to be dropping these things. The second you drop this onto concrete or a, even like hard carpet, the lens will break or something will be shook up inside and you'll have to buy a new camera. So then underneath this little flap here, you just have an HDMI port and another port to help connect your camera to various other technologies. And then looking at the bottom of the camera, you have a really, really nice place that you can screw the camera onto a tripod. You also have this little door lever, I don't really know what to call it, where you just slide out and it will automatically pop open and that's where you put in the battery and the SD card. Moving on to the back of the camera, the most interesting part. You have the 7.5, I think it said, centimeter LCD screen taking up most of the back, and it is not touchscreen, by the way. You have another small grip for your thumb. You have a little dial, I don't know, switch, I guess, at the top that can put you into audio mode, photo mode, and um, another mode that no one really ever uses. Um, then you have this button with the box and the play button inside of it that you can click to view the photos on your SD card. You have this button with the red dot inside of it and that is what you do to start recording a video. Then you have the um, mode dial sort of thing and you have the function set or OK enter button right there. You can go up and down using the scroll dials throughout the different menus. Um, and then going down below that, you have this little button that kind of looks like it has an old school iPod on it. And that's the button you click to connect your camera to your phone using the app. And then of course you have the menu button where you can change all of the settings on your camera. So that's pretty much the gist of all of the buttons and kind of a really simplistic view on what they do. Now I'm going to kind of go in with showing you the video quality, audio quality, picture quality, all sorts of that type of stuff. Alright guys, so this is the video test for the Canon SX610HS. I actually did a lot better of a video test while I was in the other room like with the studio lights and stuff, but as I'm editing this video, I figured out that I lost that footage like I most likely probably was going to do but so as you guys can see this is what the video quality looks like again I'm in a very low light situation um, at the moment and like right in front of a desk lamp so this is definitely probably what the video quality would look like at its worst you know if you had some better lighting if you were outdoors the video quality would look a lot 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 better than it does here this also is a very good example of what the audio quality will sound like using the built-in microphone um, and holding the camera camera about an arm's length away from yourself like you would most likely be doing if you were vlogging. So in my personal opinion, I think the video quality is superb on this camera for the price of the camera. Obviously my DSLR takes much, much, much better video and I don't think the audio is like amazing or whatever, but I think if you're just going to be doing some vlogs, this can work perfectly fine for you. I think the main downfall with this camera for vlogging in particular um, is that it does not have a flip out screen, which for anything else, flip out screens are kind of nice to have but really aren't necessary. But with vlogging, it is really nice to kind of know like what's in shot and um, being able to see yourself. But other than that, I think this would be a perfect vlog camera and for the price point, you really can't find anything else like this camera. So kind of just to wrap up this review, overall I think this is an amazing, amazing camera and I am so, 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 so glad that I bought this camera. I bought this camera around in April, so this camera has been out for quite a while, but I definitely think it is still an amazing option. I bought this camera after I bought my DSLR that I have right now mainly for its Wi-Fi capabilities and just because it's so small and portable and lightweight and amazing you guys. This thing also is extremely tough and hardy. I have definitely dropped this a couple times and it still looks like it has been in amazing condition and fresh out of the box. So I'm very very happy with that. So overall I'm very pleased with the build of this camera and I think it's definitely definitely a steal for the price point. Video quality wise I think this would be a perfectly fine vlogging camera when you're first starting out or even have been vlogging for a while. Um, I think this is an amazing, amazing camera. I think it takes pretty good photos just as well. Um, it doesn't have like 
the most like amazing aperture or whatever like that but I think for just traveling or on the go photos this thing does an amazing 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 job um, I love that it has built in image stabilization with the lens which will help you get those clear crisp shots that are always in focus it focuses extremely fast um, and pretty silently I would say and overall I think this is a really really good beginner or entry-level camera or if you are a parent or adult that just wants to get a camera to capture those special family moments this is definitely a good camera for you all right guys so that's gonna be it for today's video if you liked today's video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below other things you might want to see me review on this channel or if you liked seeing these review videos I think it was pretty cool. Sorry if it was a little weird. Obviously, this is like the first time I've ever reviewed a piece of technology, and so there was just so much information I wanted to say, and it was kind of hard to get it all out there in an organized way, but I will get better. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. You guys mean the world to me, and I'm sorry that like I'm very inconsistent sometimes with uploading. I'm really trying to get back on a schedule, but like right now it's exam time at my school, and that's really 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 stressful in high school but thank you so much for sticking with me and always watching my videos you guys are the best if you like my channel please share it with your friends let's grow the family let's have a great great old time also please follow me on instagram at life is jade yt that is the instagram solely based around this channel for you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video you guys mean the world to me and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys